hope you guys so this is going to be another tutorial on how to do this camera with transition in Premiere Pro yes I know I made a video on this already but that was an After Effects and a few people actually commented saying they wanted me to do it in Premiere Pro so here it is okay so you're gonna need to download this preset that I made and I actually talked about it in my Sam Coulter smooth zoom transition tutorial so I'll link that video below, but I'll just link in the presets, and the only one we're going to be using is the six screens. So I have my two clips right here, and the first thing I want to do is search up my six screens preset in effects, and we're going to drag it onto both clips. So now you see it has like a mirrored sort of effect, um, and we're going to scale it back into 300 so we see the regular clip again. And we're going to do that for our second clip as well. So now we're going to go to where we want the transition to start. And then we're going to press the keyframe button for position. And then go to the end of the clip. And we're going to adjust the numbers so that it goes to the right bottom corner. So I'm going to adjust the Y to negative 530. And the X to negative 950. Okay, so it smoothly goes down to the right corner. And then you can adjust the keyframe so that it goes a little bit faster. Okay, now let's move on to our second clip. So we're going to go a little bit after the clip starts and then press the keyframe button for position. And then we're going to go back to the beginning of the clip and we're going to adjust the y-axis to the very top of the clip. So this is about 1619. And then we're going to adjust the x to the very left, which is 2873. Okay, so now you see this little transition um, but we want to add some blurring to this so let's we're gonna search up directional blur in effects and we're gonna add that to our first clip and then we're gonna make a keyframe for where the transition starts and make the press the keyframe button and make the blur length zero and then go a couple of frames forward and then change the blur length to as much as you want I'm just gonna go about 43 and then change the direction diagonally so that it sort of goes to the right corner, if you know what I mean. So this is about negative 54. Now we also want to add directional blur onto our second clip. And so I'm going to go to where the transition ends, make a keyframe button, and then go back to the beginning of the clip and adjust the blur length to the same number as the other one, which was 43. So I'm going to change this to 43. And then adjust the direction so that it goes diagonal, and then that's about negative 53. And let's see it. So, yep, it has this cool little blur transition, and that's the way to do it in um, Premiere Pro. And I guess it'll be easier so you don't have to do dynamic link. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.